Hello everybody and welcome to the Midnight Game Room. I'm Marty. Welcome back to Super Metroid A Link to the Past. I am going to have a few things to do in this one. We have to go through... I'm gonna... I'm stopped right here because I want to kill Batwoom. And then we're gonna go kill Dragon. And the the, the key... The, the meat of this episode is going to be spent uh, traveling around in all of the hotter places in Norfair that we never got to before. Um, just because I didn't have the various suit, so I would have just died. Uh, so, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna take care of Batwoon and Dragon. Uh, those are gonna be very quick fights. And then, after that, I'm going to go travel around in Lower Norfair. If I run into Crocomire, I will kick the crap out of him, you guys know that. And, uh, if not, well then that's fine, we'll get to it later. But really, I'm just kind of interested in exploring Lower Norfair. Because the only thing we've beaten there so far is the Gold Chorizo, and that was just because I needed that speed booster. So, um, yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. So maybe I'll get uh, maybe I'll get a mini boss and two of the regular bosses done. Ridley is also down there somewhere. Uh, I might have to get to him at a later time. I don't know. Maybe we'll run into him in our adventures, but. I have no idea what's going to happen. All I know is I'm going to kill these first two, and then we're going to Norfair, so let's get going on this. So weird being on this side of it. You coming out? Yeah! This guy should be absolutely no problem. Like, I have so much... Oh, yeah, if I could actually hit him. Come on, come on down. Mm, mm, mm. You can only hit him in the head, you can't hit him in the body. There we go, he's almost dead. One or two more shots ought to do it. Oh, yeah, miss it, Marty. Yeah, 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 miss it, miss it so good! There we go. And that one more was all it taked. All it tookin'. There we go, so we're past him. On- oh, stop wasting those. Not that I need them to beat Dragon, but... Ugh, stop wasting them. Alright, so I will meet up with you guys again once we hit Dragon, and we'll kick his butt again, and this time we can actually get out of his pit. And yeah. Shouldn't be too long. Here we go. Ooh, I am gonna stop and get some more stuff like super missiles and energy and, you know, all the good stuff. Okay, here we go. This is the door to Dragon. Uh, you guys may also notice I have an additional energy tank, and I also found the last reserve tank. Um, my idea was to go around and pick up some of this stuff and then come and fight these guys, but I didn't hit record, so I have absolutely no footage of me getting them, so sorry about that, but I, I did get one more energy tank and I found the last reserve tank. And we will get ourselves ready for this. This should be fairly simple. Uh, oh wait. That one's up. There we go. Cut them all open. That way I can grappleize them whenever I'm ready. And we will beat Dragon yet again. Oh no! Grey grabby butts! Come on, drag me around, I will zap the crap out of you. Just as soon as you take me close enough to one of those things, I'm gonna zap you. Stop spanking me with your tail! That's disgusting, and very frankly, quite disturbing. There we go! Much easier this time, I didn't miss. And that's how you beat Dragon. One energy tank and a bit. Man, so easy. Alright, get him out of here. Give me my stuff. I want my energies so that I can make sure all my reserves are filled. I've got my super missiles. Go in here, and I believe this was a 20 rupees. Yep, 20 rupees. Alright, now I can get out of here and go elsewhere. So, uh, the next time you guys see me, I am going to be... Uh, in... I'm gonna be in that Norfair Tunnel, where you come out from Hyrule, 
I'm going to be in there, I'm going to go up one, and we are going to go into the burning portions of Norfair, so I'll be right back. And let's go deal with some super high temperature nonsense. So I've been into this room, but then I got burned and I, I, was, I was so scared. I even tried running this at one point just to see if I could. Hey, hey. Okay, uh, take that off. Let's freeze these suckers. There we go. Don't really need that. I just jump up now. I can jump up because I have the power of jumps. I got mad jumps, mad hops, yo. I don't like those guys. There we go. The the guys that jump from the ceiling down like super far and then they come back up. Those guys. Yeah, them. I don't like them. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. Uh, I don't know if there's anything special in this room or not. Maybe I should have been checking that. Hang on, let me get some energies. Oh my god, space jump, save me. Does this just go down into lava? It does go down into lava. I know it! I kn there's probably something in here. Ah, uh, I feel like there's something in here. One sec, guys. I'm searching. I'm searching. If you guys were yelling at me to hurry up and find that thing, what was hidden down here, I'm search. Really? Is it worth it? 20 rupees? No, it's not. That's probably the one thing that was hidden here. Anything here? Nothing I can see, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. No, I would say that's probably the one thing that was hidden down there. I think it used to be missiles, and uh, I am not going into the lava for 20 rupees. That's stupid. Man, I wonder if Samus has ever tried just knocking. Like, hey guys, would somebody let me in please? Not, you know, uh, I'm going to murderate the shit out of your door just because I can. Oh, this is so much easier when I can space jump. Ooh, the bubble area. I don't even... Is this a hot area? Like, is this considered to be a hot area that you need the Varia suit? Because I thought about this place, and for some reason, well, I just... Rightfully so, I thought it was a part of Meridia. Because, you know, um, when was the last time you were in uh, an area that was surrounded by bubbles and you didn't think, Hey, underwater place. What? Oh yeah, that's right, there is some lava I can stand in. Not all of it, but some of it. Alright. Well, let's see what's in this room then. That's a bombable spot. Aha! Pew! Come on. Yes! There we go. Oh, a door. What's in the door? Yeah, I always forget. The nope. I don't remember what the difference is between the types of lava I can stand in and which ones I can't. So I'm just assuming that everything is bad for me. Power bombs! Well, it wasn't all that great, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. I wish you could kill those guys. Wait, can you kill those guys? I don't know if I've ever tried. Oh, you can. You can with super missile. Boom. There you go. Take that, jerk. Yeah. Showed him. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, man. Can I stand up? Oh, I can stand up. Perfect. There we go. I'm just so tired of wasting uh, power bombs over stuff like that. <sighs> I can't believe I still don't have regular bombs. Like, that is just something that is kind of mind-blowing to me. Because I've never done this game without having... Uh, friggin' morph ball bombs. Like, when was the last time you played and you didn't have morph ball bombs? No, my luck, it's gonna be like Ganon's Tower, or it's gonna be like one of the hidden places in like Torian. I don't know if there is actually any items in Torian or not, but if there are, that's probably where <laughs> that's probably where the bombs are. Ooh, hello. Restock much? I would like to say yes, please. Okay, I don't know. You guys are doing a thing. 
Wasn't really down with it. Hmm, wait a minute. This, no, no, there is an item at the end of it though. Let's find out what we're missing. Oh, you definitely, yeah, that's right. You need speed booster for this because I don't think you can make, actually, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if they're gonna come back or not. Hey, those aren't even real spikes. You're lying to me. Oh, whoa, hang on a second here. Why were they disappearing then? What, they, they don't technically exist. That is Balonius Maximus. My x-ray scope says they don't exist, but yet I can get hurt by them. <laughs> super missiles. We found super missiles. Have a good check around this room because it seems like every second one of these rooms they decided to hide stuff in it and I don't see anything. So we're good. I gotta start remembering to do that in every room because I keep getting comments from people like, oh yeah, by the way, you didn't check this. Whoa, you need speed boost to get the hell out. Wait, that stuff doesn't hurt me. That's the, the, the bright orange stuff doesn't hurt me, I think. Like this. Hwah. I can run around all day in this lava. Um, I feel like there's something down there. Time to x-ray the scopes. Anything? Anything? No, there's, well, there's something below me, so, hmm. Let's try going down here then. There, I got to the, 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 the below part. Hey, 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 hey. Let me show you how I flip. I'm gonna flip. Oh, there's an item in here. Yeah, like, look at all the items, guys. Look at all the items. Ah, let me in. I'm scared of the ball. Hmm. Right, those things fall down. So, I just... I'm not even going to use it. There. Energy tank! Yes. Okay, so we got an energy tank. At least you get to see this one. That's that's always good. It's always good. And what do we got in here? Something awesome. Another energy tank. Okay. I'm down for that. The more health I can get the better off I am at the end of the day, because when I go to Torian, I am facing some seriously screwed up stuff. Like, I've been pretty OP for this, for this playthrough, because anytime somebody bothers me, all I have to do is just bust out the, uh, just kind of bust out the, um, screw attack. And there you go, I'm done. I win. But that shit don't fly in Torian. Oh wow, if I had gone through this before I had um, wave beam, I would have been screwed. I would have got trapped in there. I mean, I, I know there's glitches. You can use glitches to... You can use glitches to do that. Yeah. What is down there? I need to know what's down here. Oh. It's just a ground level. So... What? Did I not need to do- uh oh crap, I shot it! Oh well, let's get some items! Yeah! Destroy all the fleas! It's like beating a boss. Every one of those hives that you defeat is like beating a freaking boss. Oh, it just gets you all the way over here and makes you go, ha ha, made you look. There's nothing you can do here. They laughed at me. They all laughed at me. Uh, I haven't been to this lower portion. I don't think I missed a door or anything. I think it's literally like the next door up is, yeah. Yeah, all I missed was fighting with one of them little gator dudes. Uh, there's gotta be stuff in this hallway. I'm just, I'm being super vigilant about this stuff now. Because every time I, every time I check the comments, someone's like, yeah, by the way, 12 minutes and 13 seconds you were in this corridor, there was an extra, there was a place you, you, you could have bombed over there and you would have got stuff. So I'm trying to be vigilant. I'm trying to learn from you guys. I'm just not very good at it. Yeah, that stuff didn't hurt me. Oh no, it's sinking into the abyss.
Oh, this one doesn't sink. I thought I thought they all sank. Yeah, I was about to start screaming something about the abyss and why do I feel like I'm en route to a boss? I'm gonna hit Crocomire here in a minute, aren't I? Is that where I'm headed? Where's the map? No, maybe not. Crocomire's way down there. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I know you last two didn't do anything, but I still want you to stop it. Um. Another thing I don't think I've ever checked. I wonder if you can kill those guys. Like, with a super missile to the face. Oh, you can! I mean, like, I've never bothered doing it, because why would I? So, hmm. I kind of do hope I get the plasma beam. I know I don't need it, but the thing is, is with the plasma beam, it's as... It's as powerful... Without the plasma beam, a full charge with spazer and wave, it, spazer, wave, and ice, um, it's just as powerful as a super missile. But with plasma, um... It's like three times as powerful as a uh, as a super missile. So I'm kind of like I'm kind of on the side of. Mm, I think I should probably get plasma, but at the same time, eh. Like I don't need it, but it would be super super convenient to have because Mother Brain's not exactly a fun fight. If I remember correctly, there's a whole lot of those donut-shaped friggin' laser things coming at ya, and it's just, it, it's not easy. It's not a simple task. Uh, let me just, f let me freeze you for a minute. And check out your room, because I feel like you're hiding secrets. Are you hiding secrets from me? Oh my god, they actually might not be hiding any secrets from me. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! Boink! Okay, well there's nothing in there. Now you guys saw me do a full good check of that room, so if there is something in there, I want to know exactly how it didn't show up on the x-ray scope. Hmm. There's something happening there, and I have a feeling it's right here. Ba-doom! Ah ha ha! Look at me finding things! Ooh, wait, this is a place I've already been! Damn it! I'm going back down. I'm gonna waste all my bombs trying to get up to a spot that I've already been to. And also here! Jerks. <sighs> I should pay more attention. What's in this room? So going down just seems so bad. I mean, I know I have to. But what? This is a speed corridor. One second. Wooshki! Did they leave me anything? Yeah, they did lots of power bombs! And this is just a save room? Huh. Oh, I have been there before. I know where that is. Oh, shit! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You leave me anything behind? No, you didn't. There's nothing to leave behind. I'm full! So full. Hmm. Okay. See, when the landscape starts becoming, um... Wait a minute. This feels wrong. Something feels wrong here. There's got to be a reason why this is just a dead end. Or maybe there doesn't. <laughs> I love when I'm that po <laughs> that friggin' powerful. Splook. Spook. Spadook. 
I'm just looking for any of those icons on the map that show me that there's an item there, like this one to the right, which I just tried to run to, but instead I x-rayed the door and I found out that the door is a door. Useful information. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to the left first, because I feel like the right leads to Krakomire. Hmm. Hello there, fine sir. Is your confectionery confecting? I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what confectionery is, but I don't know how it would be confecting. And that's a save room, so I don't have a really, really, really big use for that. This is where I would have come from had I come the correct direction. I think. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't this the room I was in? Wasn't I already in this room? Was I not? Maybe I was not. Man, the second jump just did not want to ever come. Hello? Hello? Space jump? Uh, don't want to go through there, because if I go through there, then I am stuck. Because you can't open the gate from the wrong side unless you glitch it, and I was, I tried it several times. It is not an easy glitch for me to do. People say it's easy. I say you're full of crap. Hmm. There's a left here? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, interesting. But how would I get the speed necessary? Wait a minute. I don't... I don't speed jump it from this side. Why didn't I just shoot the door open when I was first standing in front of it? No, you... This is where you come out of. Yes. That's where you come out of. Okay, I will go up and get that area... In a minute. I'm gonna go down, because there's two items downward. Oh, shit. This is Krokemeyer. Open up. Eat it. Keep going. Keep right on going. You don't scare me. Keep going. Nope. You are not making any headway here. Nope. Keep backing up. Oh! He shot my super missile. No. Back up. I've trained dogs before, and they are way harder than training you. Keep going. Goodbye, sir. This is like the easiest boss in the entire game. I mean, I guess once you know how to beat him, he's super easy, but... I mean, like, that that was just ridiculous. He's so easy. Three bombs! I got tree bams for killing Krokemire. Okay. Oh, hell with it. I wanted to be fancy and grapple my way across, but apparently my grappling abilities are... Oh, yeah, that's right. Can't believe I actually ran into those. I usually remember they exist. Oh, I don't know how he did that as bones. That's actually pretty impressive. I wasn't sure if I still had to shoot him one more time. That's why I get the super missiles out. I was like, wait, do I have to shoot him once more to blow him apart, or is that it? That was it. What are you guarding up there? What you got up there? I want to know. I think you got something. Or are you supposed to be used as a grapple point? Maybe you're supposed to be used as a grapple. That would make sense. And that's just a save room. And that's a bunch of refills. I love that these guys are literally, like, you don't use them for anything other than refilling your stuff. Like, ah, oh man, I'm low on whatever. Ah, just kill these guys that continuously come out of a pipe. Your whole purpose 
on this planet is to be used as fodder to pick up more to, to feed me more weapons and health how do you feel about that come on one more super missile one more super missile thank you uh, let's save point don't need to do that That looks like a weapon. <laughs> I thought that was the way maybe you get into the room or something, but that doesn't make any sense because I just came out of Krogemeyer's room. So what do I get? <gasps> it's a whole piece of heart. Yay. Oh boy, so help me God, we are gonna check every single place in here. I'm not gonna go down that way just yet, because it looks like this loops around. Well. Yitcha, yitcha, itch, chichi, 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 chichi. I'll stop wasting those now. I guess I have to go down. <laughs> That'd be a pain in the ass to... Even with space jump to go all the way back up that. Whoop! that's the stuff that'll hurt me. It's the clear lava will hurt me. The orange lava will not. Does that make sense? It should. Because this lava is a different color than the other lava, the stuff that will actually hurt me. <gasps> Plasma beam! Yes! Oh, man, that's awesome! I wasn't expecting to find anything like that. Like, I, I kind of figured that was in Hyrule. There we go. I am so friggin' powerful now. Honestly, at this point... Now that I have, um, space jump, I don't think I even need ice. There's no reason for me to freeze anybody. I should just kill them. So I'm gonna turn ice... ...off. Because we don't need space or either, because plasma takes care of that. There we go. Now enemies just die. There's no... ...ice in the map. Hmm... Power bombs, you say? Now I'm assuming I have to run somewhere. Okay, I was just making sure it wasn't- I had to run to this end. And whooshki booshki booshki! Oh, that's right, I gotta jump at the end of that platform. I remember this! And skadwooda! I suppose I didn't actually have to. I probably could have just space jumped up there, but I wanted to do it the real way. Missiles. I wanted to do it the real way, because, I mean, if you're not going to do it the real way, then... Well, clearly you played the game before, and you don't feel the need, but, I mean, why not? Let's do it the fun way. Plus, I mean, have you ever played a racing game where you get to set up your own tracks, and you didn't set up a giant ramp that you could boost off of, in order to get to the other side. You don't have to do that, you can just drive around the truck. I'm assuming it's like one of those like 18 wheelers or like the car transport vehicles that have like the back end lowered down. Yeah, it's one of those. And you know, why wouldn't you? What? Oh, right, I can't freeze them. Uh, cause I don't have ice on. Hmm, but yeah, why wouldn't you do that? That's just dumb. Everybody should be doing that. You don't see a... Like, I see those things in real life, and I contemplate running my truck right up and over top of them. I mean, like, I'd probably get in a whole lot of trouble, but I don't care. Like, it looks like so much fun. There we go. How did I not get a single one of them? That was ridiculous. 
I was poopy. Wait a minute, was there anything else in that room? I didn't check the top right of that room. I don't know that I need to. But I don't need to do a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go do it. Oh, I knew it. I knew there'd be something in the top right of the room. Plus, it looks like there's something else over. Nope. Just a return to sender kind of deal. Okay. Hmm. Where else do we have to go? All the way back up to the top here. We've got to go to the place where I thought Crocomire would be and then ended up going to the place where Crocomire were. So that'll be the last thing we do in this one, because it's already running a little bit late, and I've been keeping you guys with me for most of this, because there's a lot of fun things to see, and a lot of in interesting items to find. Oh my god, Space Jump, why you gotta be so finicky? You're allowing me the ability to jump repeatedly in midair, and you make it hard. <laughs> well, maybe I make it hard, I don't know. Yeah, but there's been a lot of fun things to see on this on this trip because the the items are clearly marked on the map, so major ones. Plus, I I really was not expecting to get plasma beam here. I really thought for sure that had to be in Hyrule. Because why wouldn't it be? Uh, I need to go a different direction to get that. I need to go to the right here. Yes. Okay. So there was the power room, and I believe the power room had a door heading out of the right. So that is where we're gonna go. Yes! I've already got full power, so I don't need to worry about that. And this is gonna be the last little bit of stuff that we have to explore. Haha, -ha, I'm immune to your lavas! See how it's super orange? That's the stuff that I'm immune to. I can land in that, except that there's spikes. I'm not immune to spikes. I don't know why she... Why did nobody ever make a suit that's just immune to spikes? Because, I mean, honestly... That's what everybody wants. Everybody's like, yeah, thanks for the suit that's immune to some types of lava, but could I instead have a suit that is immune to spikes and enemy damage? Because, you know, if you can make one that doesn't freaking melt. You know what would have been hilarious? If they would have put something like that, like a power bomb door. And then it turns out the entire floor you're standing on is also power bomb stuff, so you had to be like standing right over top of a post or something like that. They never did anything like that. They never really trolled the uh, trolled the player. Oh boy, wait a minute. This doesn't lead to Ridley, does it? Um. Hmm, I might need to turn ice back on so I can freeze them under there. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea where this one goes. I know Ridley's around somewhere. At least I think Ridley's in Lower Norfair. But either way, if we meet up with Ridley, we meet up... Ah, oh, that was poopy. I said that was poopy. There we go. I even watched some glitch videos on how you can do that part there without the various suit, and it was ridiculous. I was looking at it going, no, no, I'd never be able to do that. I do not have the coordination to be able to handle something like that. What's over here? This is a save room. Okay. You know what? I think that's where I'm going to leave it, because I've been playing for 50 minutes, and I think a lot of that has actually been time spent chatting with you guys. So, we got two bosses done, we got the plasma beam, so now we're as powerful as we can possibly be without the hyper beam. Um, it's just a matter of beating Ridley, 
No, that's it. I beat Fantoon. I beat Dragon. I beat Crocomire. So it's just Ridley. After I beat Ridley, I can get into Torian, and that's the end of it. So the last little bit of our sir Oh, I know what's down this way. Um the gold Terizo that I've already beaten is down this way. So I better be careful. I don't want to end up having to backtrack all the way back around. Uh, but that is for another episode. So, um, and in case anybody's wondering why I haven't gone back to Zelda, I have everything in Zelda. I can beat Zelda right now. I have all of the crystals. I have the silver arrows. I have the red mail now. Uh, I have the golden sword. Like, I can go through Ganon's castle anytime I want. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that both both games were at their end game before I start beating bosses. So I'm going to beat Mother Brain first, because once I start making my way through Torian, I'm not really going to want to stop. I just want to finish it up. But I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I don't know, because if, if beating Mother Brain, like, normally, in case you're not aware, you, you do the fight with Mother Brain, she's in a capsule, and there's shit flying all over the screen, and you have to beat her, and then she turns into this gigantic abomination, and she's like, Aah! she's got a whole body and everything, and then you get the hyper beam, and the hyper beam just friggin' destroys anything in like one or two shots, and you know, it's, it, it's crazy, but I don't know how you could do that sequence, because after that you have to escape the station and then fly away, but if you do that, then that ends the game, so you wouldn't be able to go back to Hyrule, but the same thing goes for defeating Ganon, what happens if you do that, so one of those two boss fights is modified, it's gotta be, so that after you win, they just scrap the rest of the finishing sequence, you know what, I just figured it out. It's gonna be the mother brain one. I'm going. My guess. My, this is this is my thoughts into the future. Um, my guess is that we're going to beat mother brain in capsule form, and it's just going to stop the fight there. We're not ever going to get the hyper beam. We're not going to have mother brain turn into a giant slag beast. It's just going to stop it right there, and we'll be done. And then we go back to high rule beat Ganon because Ganon doesn't have two forms. So when we beat Ganon, that will be the thing that triggers the end of the game. That's my guess. Because until I just started talking about it right now, I completely forgot that Mother Brain has two forms. Well, I didn't completely forget, but I didn't take it into account. So that would be my guess. Because Mother Brain has two forms, the win condition is beat Ganon. That's my guess. Unless, of course, I can't fight Mother Brain until I... Face off against Ganon, but I don't know how they would have done that. They would have had to modify the game in a real big way. Anyway, I don't know. That's that's just my guess. That's what I'm going to stick with for now. We will find out very shortly. It's probably only going to be two or three more episodes before we're done this game. So if you guys have any suggestions for other games that you really want to see, other crossovers, randomizers, um, just games in general that you think would be fun, leave those in the comments below because I always read them, and as most of you know, I pretty well always respond, so um, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. And as always, guys, take care, and game on.